What is up guys? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. So excited to be back. Took a year break away from the channel, was doing a lot of corporate job stuff, was doing crypto web3 stuff. But guys, got a lot of time now. I'm doing some side things, but I'm going to be pouring more time into Shamshir Sound. Thrilled to be back alongside the release of FL Studio 21, which is an absolute banger. If you guys are excited, smash up the like button, drop a comment what you're looking forward to because I'm so excited to be dropping tutorials, sound design, new sample packs, feedback, all that good stuff. We're going to review new plugins. The next video, we're going to be reviewing the Kashmir uh, kick punching, transient boosting package. We'll take a look at that. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at using FL Studio 21's new feature, which is adjusting the samples, curves, and fade outs, fade ins to make percussion quickly more punchy because it's really all about the power of silence. Let's go ahead and drag some samples in. So we got some kicks here. Let's just take these two because for experimental sake, we need to be quick and we need to just see in respective of your time, but also, you know, that's the way it is. Like experimentation, you just gotta roll with the flow and see what you come up with. Let's go ahead and take these uh, samples and make them uh, a little bit shorter just so that they're not uh, overlapping the grid. So we'll do something a little like this. Now, this is not gonna probably sound too good. Let's adjust the BPM 128, best BPM of all time. Let's go ahead and take a, a listen to this. Okay, it sounds like ass. Uh, we got, what, Fruity Limiter on there, no problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at adjusting this. Now, I'm just going to select these in an FL Studio 21 when you want to make adjustments because it's per sample adjustment. So if I adjust just this, then it's going to only do that kick. But if I go back and select them all, you can adjust multiple at the same time or other samples as well. So whatever is in your selection. I'm going to go ahead and adjust this and listen to it. Now, of course, you have a few things you can do here. Uh, first of all, you have the top here where you have kind of the length. Let's call this the length of the fade out. You can also fade in, but of course, here we're dealing with a kick. And so we want to preserve that transient unless maybe you're layering or doing something else. And then we also have a couple of other things here, which is the gain knob. You can go down, you can go up. And this is beautiful because we're seeing the wavelength in real time, which is something we really yearned for that Ableton had, but we didn't really have that yet. We just played it by ear, but having those visual uh, feedback, the visual feedback definitely goes a long way. And so the last thing also is the curve. So you can make it a little bit more abrupt. Let's go ahead and listen. So you can get a little bit playful here. Now, this is gonna introduce quick layering. It's also gonna let you do, during an extended mix, your intro and outro kick. If you feel like you don't want it to be the full power of the drop, not only can you just make a quick adjustment of your drop kick and just make it like shorter and quieter, you know, that way you don't have to apply a high pass filter, you don't have to worry about any sort of other issues. You don't need to introduce new CPU resources. You don't need to worry about that because that way this could be like your intro kick and you could adjust it however you like. Maybe you want it to be quieter. Maybe you're okay with the volume and then your main drop can just be that full length beefy kick. Now let's take this and see, is it possible for us to layer these two? And let's take a look. So let's go ahead, uh, make sure we're on the grid there and let's see what we can do here. So I like the punchiness of this. Let's see if maybe we can add the body of this kick. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these. That's actually not too bad. It's kind of got like a clubby, uh, nostalgic type of vibe to that. A little bit of a hard electro. And let's adjust this one. 
don't worry guys too much about what's going on with the EQ. Did I stack this? Did I stack that? As long as it sounds good, great. Don't reach for a plugin until it's necessary, until you really need to do something because it will overwhelm you and it will deter you from the creative focus. Now let's go ahead and see. Maybe I want to, you know, maybe make the transient a little bit less harsh. So perhaps maybe a little adjustment. No, no, that kind of makes it a little too gentle. I like that punch, even though it's adding to this. Great. Now, just to see, maybe we want to add like a top kick. Now, top can be anything. It could be noise. It could be like uh, a hat, open hat. It could be a closed hat. It could be anything. Honestly, in these days, you can just stack whatever the hell you want. It's really about the volume envelope and how you're adjusting that. So for the sake of science, let's open up toms and let's just click this. There is 50% science, 50% art. So let's go ahead and adjust this as well. And maybe this is the case where I want this to be more of like a percussive kind of like backhand layer to the kick. I'm actually pretty happy with those results. So something like this, you can just quickly get inspiration from. Perhaps if we want to tighten this kick, we can do that too, where I leave this and I come back to this and I select these two and with the two selected, rather than just the top row and the row below, I can adjust this a little bit more aggressive. Then I can come down here and also make this one like a little bit tighter so that maybe the noise doesn't play out too long. And that gives you an idea that within seconds, within minutes, you can take kicks, stack them, play with the volume envelope. And this is just one of many amazing features in FL Studio 21. We're going to take a look at more and more of them. I hope this inspires you guys to take kicks that you already use, take percussive elements that you just randomly stumble upon, and see how that plays well with your kick. Because uh, Armin Van Buren would talk about this in the past, where sometimes he'd be playing out a track and he's, you know, at the end of one track and introducing another track, but they both happen to have either like the same kick, the same transient, and you kind of had phase issues, like cancellation issues. So doing things like this will make your sounds more unique. They'll make them pop and the barrier to entry is very low. So something like this is just great to do. I can highly recommend this. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, brief video on fade outs and how powerful it can be smash up the like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day take care